Hello everyone and welcome to Counselor Feature Friday. I'm your host, Brian Urban. In these features, we hope to give you some simple tips, tidbits, and tricks to make your days easier and your patients happier. In today's feature, we are going to focus on coding for cross and bi-cross devices. More specifically, we're going to talk about utilizing binaural codes when different devices are being fit on each ear. So the most common scenario for this would be the cross by cross scenario potentially. Uh, but there's also opportunity uh, for need for fitting different devices but using the same binaural code. Uh, and by binaural code, I'm speaking specific about the HixPix uh, binaural codes. Uh, for example, if you have a power BTE on the right ear and a standard BTE on the left ear, right? But the payer still wants you to bill with the binaural code. Uh, we'll focus on a uh, cross by cross type scenario. Uh, but like I said, this scenario may uh, involve other types of devices as well. So what we're gonna do first here is we're gonna go ahead and click on new invoice. Uh, we're gonna link up the original audio uh, to this uh, invoice. Um, that's not only, not only for referral tracking, um, but also to, so those diagnosis codes can be pulled forward. Okay, uh, we'll click save, and now let's go ahead and add our line item. So don't worry about these uh, types. These will obviously look very different than what you have in your account. Um, but let's go ahead and let's just add some devices here. So let's find some cross devices. Okay, and this likely won't be the perfect example of devices that you would fit per ear, but uh, we're just gonna focus on the coding. So uh, if the devices aren't perfect, that's that's that's, that's okay. Um, so what we're gonna do here is instead of selecting the code at this point, we're gonna go ahead and leave the code as none selected, okay? Um, what this will enable us to do is get this item added to the invoice. Once again, don't worry about the pricing either, just making stuff up. Um, it'll enable us to get it added to the invoice and then move forward with the coding. Okay, so the first step is to get the invoice, uh, the items on the invoice. Uh, let's go ahead and um, we could say we leave this, the rest of this open, or maybe we'll just put the ear just for a little bit of transparency there. And we'll go ahead and click add. Okay, so now we have the first device. But like I said, in this scenario, we wanna add another device, but we want it to be different than the first. So if it was gonna be a match, a pair, uh, exactly the same, you would go ahead and click copy, right? No problem there. Um, or if you had selected a binaural code when we were adding this device, it would have automatically copied it over, right? So you would just have that straight away. But what we're gonna say is, okay, uh, we wanna still use that binaural code, but first let's get the second device in place. So let's go ahead and select uh, which one we want here. Let's just take, let's say we're gonna do an ITE uh, for the opposite ear, okay? Um, let's see, last time we did the left ear, so let's go ahead and do the right ear. All right. And it's just very pretty basic information there. Now, of course, you can add uh, discounts along the way. Oop, sorry, I missed the price there. I think we do wanna charge something for this device. Uh, but let's say they are different prices, right? Perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and add the different price there and any discounts that may apply. All right, so now we have our two devices, the BTE and the IT. This is where we're gonna hop back in now and add our coding. Okay, so we'll say we want this to go in the claim and we're gonna add the combination uh, BTE-ITE code. So in this case, the V5213. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and apply that for the first, for the BT. Now we're going to go and you can see the code just popped up there. Now we'll go and we'll add this for the second device. So this is a, a bit of an atypical workflow. Uh, you generally wouldn't have to go back in and add these, but in this very specific scenario, uh, there are uh, just, it's just a different, a different uh, path here. So let's go ahead and add again that V5213. All right, so now we have both of them uh, linked to the V5213 Hexpix code. That is a binaural uh, code. So what's gonna happen next is we go through our process and we go to submit the claim. Uh, when we get to the billing tab, let's just jump right ahead to that. What we'll see here is that Counselor has gone ahead and recognized that it's a binaural code it has summed the amounts, the, 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 the charges uh, for those two devices. So in this case, we had 2,000 and 1,800, okay? You'll notice there's no second item and that's because counselor has pulled the two items on the invoice into one item on the claim. And this is what the uh, payer is requesting if they're asking that you use a binaural code. For example, as we've been using V5213, sorry, uh, V5221, um, 
V5261, if we're talking about binaural BTEs, uh, non-cross device, just standard devices. So anyway, there's a um, counselor will will take it from here basically. Uh, once we have the coding in place within the line items themselves, counselor will then know what to do in the claims uh, wizard screen, and then of course on the final claim. So just to kind of bring this full circle here, I'm going to go ahead and just submit this claim. Uh, okay, it went through, and just so you can actually see this, I would normally show you the 837P because that's what counselor actually sends off, but it's kind of computer garbage uh, or gibberish, I should say, not garbage, it's really good stuff. But just so you can visualize what this looks like done in the claim, you can see here we have one line with the binaural code and the summed amount. Okay, this is the information that then, of course, is put into the 837 and sent off to the clearinghouse. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is a fairly unique. Uh, process, but if you do work with cross by cross devices, or you have scenarios where a payer wants to use a binaural code, but you need to fit different devices on each ear, uh, this will facilitate that process. We're very happy to review this with you uh, directly uh, to review any questions and make sure this is nice and simple. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us for Counselor Feature Friday, and as always, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.